Patients who are faced with a new diagnosis of advanced kidney cancer should really go to centers where they have physicians and, and healthcare providers who have experience in treating this disease and really are able to offer them as many treatment options that potentially could be effective for them. And I think that proleukin is one treatment which clearly up until this point offers a possible dur durable response for patients. So it's important that if someone is potentially a candidate that they go and be seen at a center where at least proleukin is discussed and patients are valued to see ultimately if this is something which should be used in their specific case. When a patient comes in and we've determined they potentially could be a candidate, we then do a more extensive evaluation of their cardiac and pulmonary function just to make sure that they don't have any, any underlying medical issues with those organs because those are organs that we know are very important to really have assessed and make sure they're in good function in patients who could get this agent. In preparation for a patient to come in for proleukin therapy, we explain that the treatment is five days in, nine days out, five days in. We call it 595. I tell people it's a month out of your life, and then we'll evaluate and see whether you need anything else. During treatment, it's going to be challenging in the sense that you're not going to feel very well. You're going to have very significant side effects, which we can predict and we can treat very early on. But during treatment, it is clearly very difficult on them. And really, we don't want to dismiss that. We want to make sure patients are very aware and their families are very aware of what the effects are going to be. They can have fever, they can have chills, they can have sweats, uh, they can have an impact on their urine output. They come into a center with excellently trained nurses and physicians who have experience with this treatment. They can predict when the toxicity is going to arise and the experienced team knows what to do and when it's going to happen. And as well, we know that most of the side effects of these agents will really resolve within two to three days. We're going to be able to treat them very effectively, very early, and minimize the long-term consequences they can have on patients. Immunotherapy can take some time to work, and it can work over a prolonged period of time. But the key point is that we get an indication of its activity, of the activity of proleukin, very early after the course of therapy. Our initial evaluation is six weeks, four to six weeks after the course, and then a follow-up at 12 weeks. Oftentimes, at four to six weeks, we can see the beginning of a benefit, so it happens very early in the treatment course. I have a, a great story of a patient that became a really close friend of mine several years ago who I had operated on for advanced kidney cancer. And when we looked at the treatment options, myself with the medical oncologists who were treating him, we really felt that proleukin was really the best treatment to offer them. He was a, he was a patient in good health who was seeking really a, a, a very meaningful response. And really, I was able to sort of look at the treatment through his eyes because I went to see him every single day he was in hospital and went to visit with him when he went home. So I, I went through his whole experience, not only as his physician, but as his good friend. I will tell you a short story about a gentleman that we treated in 1986 when proleukin was still investigational, so it was IL-2. First evaluation, four to six weeks after treatment, uh, the lung nodules were smaller. We, in fact, did give him a second course of treatment at 12 weeks, which was much harder on him than the first course. And after two cycles, two courses of proleukin, he achieved a complete response in his lung nodules. He had no evidence of disease anywhere else in his body. And he remains alive in Mexico City 30 years later with no cancer. <laughs>